Folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy, you're watching Alpha Investments. Today, for the patron Edward, we are still in Kami land. Kamigawis. Kamigawi neon, neon lees. So today, in the Kamigawi land, it is officially approaching streets of Copacabana pre-release weekend here. And, um... Demand is appearing to be quite strong. There was a lot of negativity approaching the new streets of uh, cabanas here. And um, I don't know. We could continue to see Magic follow through with really, really strong product and uh, market share. And it appears to be happening right now. And, um, oh, our first rare, uh, our first land. And uh, we'll see what happens here, ladies and gentlemen. Some ninja action. Farewell with that beautiful little land. And the Weaver of Harmony in pack one there. So as we film this video, Kamigawa Collector Boxes are sitting pretty stable now. We have we are long gone past the little second wave restock. We haven't seen any form of downtick in pricing. Sealed collector boxes remain impossible to get. And pricing remains very high. Life Origin, our first shrine mythic. Boom! Wandering Emperor coming in from... Mythic number two and abandoned mine for our second land already in a, in a soul transfer. Yeah, so uh, box prices on this product um, looks like it's just it's we're not gonna people all these people that oh we're gonna wait for the crash like the previous three because you know the trend is your friend around the bend until the end when the trend gets snapped and just slaps you across the face like Chuck Norris on a beautiful Wednesday hump day invoking the D. And Reality Architect. So that appears to be where we're at. Um, a lot of FOMO. A lot of people have said they missed out on Kamigawa Collectors. Because they were waiting for the crash. And the, the Papa Bezos clearance sale. And like I tell everyone. Just because a previous product. Or even the previous two or three releases. Hey! $30 Bonsai Tree. Very nice. Just because. Invoking the Big I. Or no. Big A. Um, just because. Other. I hate to say it, it's like the stock market, man. This stuff is just, I swear, these are nothing. This is, you could assign a ticker symbol to every magic product and they would be no different than the stock market. I'm telling you all. And, you know, everyone says the same thing about Wall Street. Oh, well, you know, we're in a bear market. It keeps going this way until it changes. It's always that way until something changes. And that's where we're at with uh, two heavens as one. That's where we're at. A lot of people went into Kamigawa. Negative to the last three, you know, you know what? Adventures Forgotten Realms, Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow. They all, all the collector boxes were weak. They were overprinted and weak. And then Wizard said, "Hold my chalupa, Rudy. Walk through the valley of the Mexican pizza." I know. And um, we're gonna change the print run and make the product a powerhouse. And it caught. Oh, oh God! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Oh, God. You can't pay for this stuff, man. This stuff is... I thought we had Purple Link, man. But instead, hey. Etched. Etched. Yes, folks. The etched Phyrexian Tax Planeswalker. Are you serious right now? Oh, baby. Congratulations. Dude, Edward, that is not a cheap card, man. Those Wandering Emperors. These. And that's what something I was talking about with the new streets of Copacabana. You know... These etched high-end planeswalkers... Oop, you can't even see them, sorry. These etched high-end planeswalkers and Phyrexian text variants that are only available in collector boxes, I'm telling you, man, don't underestimate these things. They've Wizards has shifted, invoking the big giant A, and a mirror box. I'm telling you all, they've shifted how they're... They've been tweaking these collector boxes for years now. And they keep making them better, they keep tweaking them, and the market adjusts. Boundless Sky, Mythic number four, releasing memory to your face. All right, here we go. We got Biting the Palm Ninja. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Look at that. And invoking the... Dude, that's crazy. Dude, that's crazy. So you have yourself a regular and the etched version of Double Phyrexian. Here, should we do the Rudy, the Rudy meme uh, cover art there? Dude, that is crazy. Holy smokes. I haven't seen that. Most of the videos, we don't even get one. Like, I don't think people realize, like, most of the time, you don't even get a single one of those. I can't believe we got two. That's never happened. Okay. Here we go. Moving forward. Spring Leaf. We got Roaring Blades and West Tree. Very nice. Another Mythic. March and another March. All right. So we have three packs left of box one. 
A little low on the quantity of mythics, but we got our bonsai trees. We got some killer etched cards, and uh, really can't complain too much. This has been a, again, another very solid box opening. The old Kami there, Soul of Kamigawa, Merchant One, and Soul Transfer. So not too bad. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people FOMO'd and really screwed this one up. And uh, you know, we've all been there. We've all screwed things up. Looking at you, new Phyrexia. You know, it is what it is. It's it, you know, OG Zendikar. Looking at you. I see a double double tap on the scrap welder there. Very nice. And that's it. All right, last pack. It happens, folks. Markets can move and change and be wacky, wrong, funky. They, that's that's how the world is. That's how the markets are. Fractured calm for some spirit animal action coming through. I believe that's an etched card. I was like, that, that, I don't think it's a regular, that feels like an etched card. So that's box one, ladies and gentlemen. Edward, very nice, very nice. Not gonna complain about that. So uh, that was solid. I, I think uh, having a wandering little uh, planeswalker and double tapping, God, I can't even open this box. Did I put too much glue on this one? Uh, and having uh, a double Phyrexian card, one of which is the etched Phyrexian card, which probably paid for almost the entire box. Um, yeah, well, I don't know about the current $300 box price, but yeah. And starting off, Bonsai Tree. Very nice. Pack one, Bonsai Tribute, and Kami Reborn. Very nice. Okay. Box two is looking spicy. All right. Very, very, uh, very positive start there. Making me feel good going into box two, everybody. Here we go. Coming into uh, Toad Rider. Celebration, farewell, invoking the big A, and Crucible of Defiance for our first land in box two. And it is the Full Art Borderless Showcase Ultimate Masters Quad Masters Extended Art Frameless version. Very nice. And uh, nothing in the middle there. Imposing the mech, Storm's Edge, and another Crucible. Wow, this is a weird thing. And a nice Uprising. Not to be confused with the new Flesh and Blood set in a couple months called Uprising. But very cool, everybody. All right, here we go. All right, what do we got? What do we got? And Abandoned Mire. Very nice. Cryptid Dreams, Kieran. Crown? Ah, scrap Walder. Well, I only got a couple more Kamigawa Collector Box openings in the queue, folks. I think I maybe only got like three. Um, not looking like we're going to get any neon cards in this channel, which is disappointing. Invoke. God, look at this weird... It's like the third or fourth time in this video we've had like these back-to-back -back strange duplication on the, like, just, I don't know, the track sorting or the, just the way the cards are sorted. You've been noticing that? Super strange, man. All right. All right, here we go. Invoking the A. Battle Squad Heavens. Ah! ah biting Palm. Well, I got excited about box two, starting off with the bonsai tree. And now I'm like, um, am I skipping the Mythics? Where are the Mythics in box two? What is happening right now? We need like a triple Mythic pack to even get back on track. Like, where's all the goodies? Release the memory. Vehicle action. Bla okay, Blazing Sky. Our first one. And that's it. I was like, hello? We're down to five packs left. We have one Mythic. And look, I may have skipped a bunch of Mythics and you guys are beating me up in the comment section. Maybe that's it. I was like, dude, it's super funky, man. Yeah, all right, we got some spice coming here. I see it. Spirit, Abandon Mire again. Hey, defending the temple. Nice little flip monster there. And there we go. Okay, double mythic and the nice boundless sky. So this is, uh, all right, a lot of uh, dragon legendary little dragon spirits are all our mythics in box two. Definitely a pretty big change of pace compared to box one there, but okay. Blazing sky coming through. Um, I think it's the same one, just a different uh, framework. And Boundless Sky. Holy crap. Weird. Okay. And Tribute. What is going on here? Do you guys see this? Double Dragon. Double Dragon. Ah, uh, yes. The Double Dragon from the old Nintendo years. Give me a hashtag Double Dragon for all you old farts in the comments. I used to play Double Dragon all those old Nintendo games. You know what I'm talking about. Reality Chip. Collision. Reckless Joy. Rudy looks like an ogre. Ah, March? What the heck, man? Boy, this box, too, fell off a cliff. Come on, maybe we'll get a neon ink and that'll save the video. I've been waiting to see one of those things in person, please. All right, Disciple. Hey, Pilot Prodigy, little commander. Invoke. Oh! Oh my god! Shut the front door, cut the finger off, shove it in my left eye. Oh my god. Are you serious? 
wandering emperor, flipping etched. Oh my god. <laughs> This is like a $200 card. Wow. Well, I guess you can't get a neon card and you're not going to have this. Right at the end of the video, Edward comes out of the gate. Oh, I'm bending the common card. Sorry. Edward comes out of the gate swinging like an animal. Oh, my gosh. The first time we've pulled the foil one. And look at that. In the close. Full Monty Tan. Look at the Planeswalker lineup in this. What a weird video today. This one was just weird. Box one star off. We had etched. So this video is the first time I've seen the etched Phyrexian Planeswalker in foil and the Wandering Emperor in etched. Oh my god. I think those two cards alone might pay for the entire video. And then the patron, Edward, may be getting everything else for free because I'm pretty sure... Wandering Emperor and that card alone are probably almost $400. And then we had two bonsai trees and a bunch of other stuff here. Dude, this was... That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why the prices are where they are. That's why every time sealed boxes have a, a slight dip. When the product is good and it's not overprinted to oblivion, everything just works. It really is... When you say it and verbalize it, it is the most simple thing in the universe. You make cards that are rare and have value and tough to acquire. You don't overprint it. And then you just sit back and let the market carry the torch and do the rest for you. No matter how much Rudy pumps and dumps your stepsister, the market will accept it with open arms and not reject it. And it will take care of itself. It really is that simple.